In this video, let's talk about Small HD's new line of five inch monitors. All right, real quick, you're watching Video Brand. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make this NAB coverage possible. Massive, Metricool, OpenReal, Adspective, and Vestigit. Be sure to check them out. Links are in the description below. And now, back to the interview. All right, what's up? I'm here with Dave from Small HD, and uh, we're gonna talk about some new five-inch monitors, right? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a whole series of new five-inch monitors that we launched at the end of 2022, and we're finally launching them here in the U.S. as well. We have been selling them, but it's taken a while to get them up and running. They are now shipping, awesome. and there's multiple varieties and variants and all that other stuff, but really the core message is we have brand new five-inch monitors for pretty much any type of scenario that you might need one for. All right, kind of let's walk through what our options are. Yeah, so basically, we have the Indy 5, we have the Cine 5, and we have the Ultra 5. And it's three variants with different brightnesses. I think that's the biggest point. 3,000 nits, 2,000 nits, 1,000 nits. And there's other differences as well, right? Like the Cine 5 and Ultra 5 have locking power, locking camera control connectors, uh, whereas this one's a barrel. And the other big thing is this one has touchscreen only. This has touchscreen plus a joystick on the side. This one has touchscreen plus, you know, four buttons and a joystick on the front, which is good for the more professional set type of workflow. Uh, additionally, the Ultra 5s use Gold Mount and V Mount, whereas the other two use Sony L series. Mm. I would say that one more thing is the Ultra 5 has some variants, and the variants include Bolt 6 inside of them. So this has a Bolt 6 LT TX inside of it and completely removes the need to have both things on your camera rig. You just have the one thing and it accomplishes both things. I say things a lot. Exactly. Uh, over here we have the RX version, which is a receiver. This would be like your client monitor or your uh, director, something like that. Not a completely standard use case because you wouldn't have the handles and the RT motion follow focus at the same time, but we're kind of showing two different ways you could use this. You could use this as a handheld follow focus or you could use it as a client monitor, again, the lack of cables, complete lack of cables, no need for a monitor cage is really what makes that an awesome solution for customers. I would say the one other thing that makes them smart, that's why we're calling them the Smart Fives, is camera control. These monitors can all do camera control for Alexa 35, Venice 2, or Venice, Venice 2 is coming soon. That's a little tease, I okay, guess. Okay. Komodo and V-Raptor. The Indy 5, the, the lowest price one, we're really trying to position as a Komodo monitor. Mm. It's got right now a special going on where you get the camera control and all the cables you need to control Komodo plus a monitor for $12.99. So you get everything you need, a really nice Komodo monitor for a, a good price. And all of these, of course, are packed with the Page OS 5 operating system, which is honestly basically an industry standard at this point. Everyone loves using Page OS. It helps keep you quick on set and makes you the most efficient you can be. Cool. And kind of just uh, running through the like, use case of this, so this is like sort of combining two devices in one, so this would be on your camera, mm -hmm. your camera monitor, and then transmitting and as a bolt. And it's also your Bolt 6 So you don't have to have two yeah. boxes together exactly. cabling. Exactly, so lighter rig, yeah. and that's awesome. what everyone wants. Yeah. And then yeah. this one receiving, and yeah. you can see it on a monitor. Yeah, there. and I think what's cool is you can mix and match. So if you already have a Bolt 4K, uh, mm -hmm. transmitter on your camera, you could buy this Bolt 6 receiver monitor and it will work with it, mm. right? Because it's backwards compatible. So it doesn't necessarily need to be in a Bolt 6 ecosystem. Bolt 6 just adds that six gigahertz frequency, which you don't need to use, but it's nice to have it if you do have all Bolt 6 stuff. Right. Cool. And you said $12.99 special right yeah, now. Yeah, $12.99. And then I'm not entirely sure on the prices. Things are constantly so, changing. Check online. <laughs> check online for the small HD but pricing. Upwards. It but. goes up from there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, cool. Well, thanks so much for the update. Right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. thanks for watching the video. For more of our NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all the videos right here. And be sure to hit the subscribe button for more cool videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.